In Mississippi, one of the most recognizable and prevalent wildlife is the deer. Although they normally stick to the woodlands for food and safety, soybean farmers are aware of how damaging they can be to a crop, since soybeans are an excellent source of protein in the deer's diet. The Mississippi State Extension Service's wildlife specialist, Dr. Bronson Strickland, aided by MSPB checkoff dollars, is leading a study to determine the impact deer can have on a soybean field's productivity. By utilizing state-of-the-art equipment and techniques, his team is investigating the extent and potential threshold of deer damage, plus potential tactics to overcome deer feeding on soybeans. So the primary objective, to our knowledge that no one has defined with deer damage and soybean research, is kind of quantifying the relationship between damage and the number of deer out there. And until we, we think, until we get a handle on that, we really can't give really good guidelines on what to do. So that's our primary objective. Everything else kind of goes along with that. There are five study sites spaced around the state. The researcher's plan is to mark distance bands within each field and study how far into the field deer will cause damage. They will also use heat vision cameras to record the number of deer that visit the fields in order to establish a damage threshold that is based on both plant damage and number of deer causing that damage. With this threshold, they can accurately estimate what amount of damage a farmer can afford to tolerate before investing in control measures to offset the loss. We're, we're going to compare everything economically with yield and what's worth it or not. And there might be some cases where it's not worth it, live with it. And there's certainly going to be some cases where, yeah, you need to do something. Probably depredation permits as well as repellents and, and other things.